Please give a round of applause. The other is Harrison. Thank you, Artem. Thanks, everyone. It's such an honor to be here today celebrating the accomplishments of dance sport education and Imperial Ballroom. I must say, I haven't known this team for very long, but it's not hard to believe how it's not love at first sight when you see these exquisite dancers. And not only do they bring the finest of dance and arts into our community, but what's amazing about them is that they actively pursue sharing this art with children across Arizona. And as it was mentioned before, they bring it to students at their school, which is the best way to keep it alive and keep children learning and active in learning the art of dance. Uh, one of these schools that benefits from this program is my school, Arizona Autism Charter School. To give you a little bit more background about this school, it is Arizona's first and only tuition-free autism-focused charter school. Inspired by my son, yes, <laughs> it is a trailblazing school in the States because I didn't start the school as an education bureaucrat or I didn't start the school for any other reason but uh, because I was inspired by my son who's on the autism spectrum, I wanted a school that would bring the best of the best to these students. The best in academics, the best in therapeutic services, and the best in the arts because I really believe that all children deserve this well-rounded education. As the school has grown over the last five years and continues to grow, we've really built our academics and therapeutic interventionists. I have the most talented team, some of them joining me here today, uh, to work with the students. And I always wished for a dance program that could work at our school. Uh, I have a background in dance. It's been one of my happiest things I've ever done as a child, and I've uh, reintroduced myself to ballroom dance as an adult. And as a person who wants to share everything that I love with my students, I really long for a dance program that could work with our kids. Um, but I struggled. I struggled to find dance teachers who were willing to bring this level of dance um, to a school focused on sh children with autism. But it was one of those things that if, that I thought to myself, if I just continue to put this thought out there, you know, one day the right team will come. And out of nowhere, one day, I received a, an email from Elka at Dance Board Education describing the amazing ballroom dance program they were bringing to some Arizona schools, their wish to expand the program. And I thought, well, that sounds really great, but I, I wonder if this team could bring it to children with autism. As I read the email, coincidentally, it said, we want to work with children with autism. I'm like, well, this can't be real. I, I told my team, I, I have this email, I really want to bring dance to a school, but uh, this, am I reading this correctly? Yes, they want to work with children with autism. They had a link there showing Anna Shabazian working with children with autism in California teaching ballroom dance. And I thought, wow, this could really happen. This could really work. I saw how beautifully they interacted with the students with autism and got them up on their feet, moving and dancing gracefully with the professionals. So I did not hesitate. I emailed back. I said, you know, I love ballroom. I think you've connected with the right person here. We met, we coordinated, and this semester we started the program at our school. Our students benefit from ballroom dance twice a week. We do about 40 hours a week total across two schools, benefiting 230 students at Arizona Autism Charter School. What is the most amazing is that our four teachers who come to our school day in and day out, they are the most exquisite, passionate dance professionals who have won world championships. And if you see them working with my kids, they adapt that instruction, they get down to their level, 
they have the patience of angels, and now dance is really starting to take form with our kids. Um, and you will see some of them here today participating in this program. It's such a, such a privilege for us to be included in something this grand and this beautiful. I want to take a moment to thank them personally. Uh, Michelle, please stand and be honored by and Oleg, Alisa, Ivan. I don't see them, but I know they're here. Oh yes, they are changing. Miss Michelle, yes. Oleg, Ivan, Alisa, probably changing for her next number. These guys did not have a background working with special needs children. Now I would say they have expertise working with children on the autism spectrum. All the levels from highly impacted students to high functioning students, they are developing an expertise that is bringing this level of arts to an Arizona school and I just want to thank them so much. Of course, it goes without saying that uh, I want to thank Miss Elka, who is the most active ambassador of dance sport education. There she is, taking a video. <laughs> Elka, I feel like um, a kindred spirit, somebody who loves dance as much as I do, someone who loves children as much as I do, and who strives every day to bring the beauty of this art to children. Thank you so much, Elka, for thank bringing you. this to us. It's such a gift. And I wanna thank everyone here tonight for supporting this event. Um, I, it is our first, but I'm sure it will not be our last because we have found a family with the people at Imperial Ballroom and Dance Board Education. We will bring dance to as many children as we can. Um, this cannot happen without the support of the whole community. All schools struggle with maintaining arts in the school and especially with children with special needs. Sometimes the resources go to other things that they also need, so it doesn't leave very much for the arts. But we are committed. I'm not a person who's gonna say, oh, we don't have it, so we're not gonna do it. I'm a person who's going to say, we are going to find a way. And that way is by having support from the dance community that is such a giving community, uh, Ms. Elka, Imperial Ballroom Dance Board Education. We can grow this program no matter what. We can't not do it because it's just too amazing and beautiful. And I just want to thank you for supporting Dance Board Education and this event tonight. So the theme tonight is We Are the World. And I want you to dream a little bit with me and transport yourselves to the beautiful country of Argentina. <laughs> and uh, we will do...